Hello Reddit Minecraft, it's uh, Darkblitz9 again, got my mic fixed. Um, great, great news, I'm really relieved to be finding this out. Somebody uh, uh, brought to my attention uh, that uh, you can actually make a uh, fix button for uh, these one clocks made with diodes. Now, uh, at first when I had tested these uh, fix buttons, I had tested it on a bunch of different configurations. This seems to be the only one out of about 12 different configurations that are supposed to work that actually does work. This is not just a starter. You can make one that starts a, a one clock but won't fix it if it's broken. Um, so there's a lot of starters and this seems to be the only one so far that I found that will actually uh, fix a broken circuit. So let me go ahead and log out. Save and quit the title, single player, flat. That's my test world. Yeah, and if, if everybody's uh, uh, going on about me using Invedit to put items in here, yeah, that's it's because it's my test world. I'm not going to actually be playing on this world. This is just a test redstone stuff. Uh, anyway, so, okay, so you see it's broken. Now, uh, there is a chance that this will not fix itself uh, when I hit the switch. But it, it only seems to happen like one out of every 10 times, one out of every 20 times or so. See, there you go. Start it back up. The, the reason why I can see is that when you log out and you log back in, the signal that's coming out of here, the process that it was running in order to start this one up, gets cut off. So this stays on. When you use a redstone signal to the side of it, it causes this one to update and forcefully resend the signal to this one starting the loop over again. The reason why it wouldn't work is if well I, I actually I, I wouldn't see why um, this wouldn't work but sometimes this does this restart system doesn't work. Uh, like I said it's only out of one every ten times as for devices uh, that you can hook up to it, you can hook up doors for super annoying, loud, noisy circuits. Okay, that's much better. Um, or you can use this to hook up to uh, repeaters, uh, excuse me, um, dispensers, like so. Dispensers, they'll need an on circuit before they can recognize a fast uh, circuit. So there it's going. And then uh, you can use it for note blocks as well. Uh, note blocks are kind of the opposite of dispenser when it comes to on and off modes. Uh, this needs a, uh, a solid signal to turn off. And it will recognize a fast signal while it's um, while there's no separate, uh, no separate signal going to it. So you can use this to make really loud alarm systems if you'd like, whatever you want guys whatever you guys want to do. Uh, that's great. I think this is fantastic for um, for being used as a clock. I'm really glad uh, they brought this to my attention. Um, so go ahead and use this guys. Uh, I'm if I know you don't need my approval for it. But uh, after testing and testing and testing, this this is the best clock. This is the best clock only because of the fact that you can restart it if it breaks. Would it were it not for this, I really wouldn't be using this. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, like this vid. I hope you found this interesting. Also, please, guys, if you're really interested in redstone, please do head over to uh, our redstone Reddit. Uh, the subreddit for redstone uh, it's it's only got a few things in there so far but I found out this cool door uh, thing on it and it works really well go in it's actually a really simple system you press the button double um, yeah it's it's kind of simple but I mean I, I I just never tried anything like that until now but anyways yeah uh, I'm gonna be cross posting this from uh, from our redstone uh, so go ahead and uh, check them both out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.